masks must be worn around others. At first, it was basic social distancing, six feet apart, stickers on the ground, one-way aisles. We opened two hours later and closed two hours earlier for cleaning and stocking because we ran out of stock, produce, toilet paper, things of such. As time went on and then the CDC got more transparent, people were hired to count how many people came in and specific people to come and dis disinfect everything. We also added senior hours to where we let seniors in early. They gave us masks we have to wear. We can't wear any other masks. And Mandra said if we are positive, but, but no symptoms we still have to come in. Required masks, temperature checks on visitors but not staff, plexiglass, three feet of separation, a desk, and if plexiglass is present, six feet if not. Sanitizer stations everywhere, virtual meetings when possible, no food brought in to share. They sent us all home mid-March, then transferred everything to work from home. The only time the office was used was if we had to bring a broken equipment for fixing. IT were the only people there, and there were only two of them, and they worked on different days. They also spent around $900 to disinfect the office, but corporate never really helped us when we needed it, though. At first, customers were very serious and masks were mandatory at all times. Now, not so much, except on the shop floor. Back rooms are very relaxed. Early on, people did not want to conform with, with the things we did, and when we got overrun, no one social distanced. Masks weren't required early on, but eventually were. Customers would come in for certain things like meat, which was limited, and people did not like that. If we didn't have it, they leave. They don't usually stand on the dots on the floor six feet apart, and they usually don't wait outside most of the time until we tell them. For the most part, well, but people forget their mask all the time, but I haven't had anyone get ugly about it. I worked as a repair agent, and it was hard before, but when we went home and quarantine started, it was so much worse. The technicians couldn't come inside to install equipment anymore, and the amount of supervisor's calls was four times the normal amount. No matter how well you handled it, they just wouldn't listen, especially the customers that didn't think the virus was serious. The equipment stores were closed as well, so the only way for them to get replacement equipment was to have it shipped or pay $70 for a technician to come out and just drop it off on the front porch. My only story is a complaint. With the labor-intensive work I do, masks are very hard to wear. Not to mention, I breathe in the smell of dryer sheets all day from my mask. Seeing pixie glass and shower curtains installed at checkout lines was interesting. I would feel bad for the cashiers because they felt claustrophobic. It was harder to see and communicate with the cashiers. Seeing people line up outside our store, and then when we opened the doors, people rushing into the same section all at once had a zombie apocalypse type feel. Seeing people be ignorant to the CDC guidelines because they were healthy and generally being selfish about it. Not really. It's just been very difficult doing my job from home since my job is very heavily dependent on me being in the office. That's my only story. My supervisor was a huge hypocrite about COVID regulations. She would preach about wearing masks and staying away from big crowds. Then she missed work for a month because she went to a barbecue and got COVID. It was completely frustrating. My only good experience I had was when she went on maternity leave because they put me with another team. Even then, the company did a complete 180 with me and treated me like garbage. Now a thing. A thanks for being safe. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, it was an hourly part-time job, so we received a 2 to $3 increase on our hourly rate during the COVID period. We also got extra free items and discounts from corporate. Nope. We got a 500 bonus for the first time since I've been here. No, I don't think so. I think they're more concerned with getting bad PR than keeping us safe. We relate to sanitizing, masks, and so on. One branch had half of its employees out at one time sick with COVID. Compared to the other stores, we were quick to respond and we got comments about how we were doing better than other stores in the beginning. So yes. No, not really. Our manager doesn't wear her mask above her nose and one of the student managers lets us take off our mask to close. Yes. No, my supervisor threatened me with corrective action if I didn't come to the physical location when I had issues. Yes, but all from family, none from work contact. Yes. I have no clue. I don't know that they tell us. Yes. Yes, my supervisor.
No. 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 No.